Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Forent here, still playing as Holland, of course, but uh, we're getting closer and the plans are in motion to become the Netherlands. We have currently a very fortuitous event. It looks like the Utrechtians. Utrechtians. I have no idea how you say that. First off, to say the country, let alone the separatists. They look like they're probably going to get their independence here, unless something drastic changes, because Geltry does not have the troops capable of squashing them. Um, in other news, we could possibly attack Geltry, but then it would involve beating up the separatists, which... Uh, on the other hand, um, I'd like to attack Friesland. Shame their allied to the Danish. Um... Shame also they wouldn't defend against the war. I might wait. Save my Danish favors until I actually need them for something. We are also one admin tech away from being able to get explorers, which is obviously going to be like another 10 years before we get that tech. Um, we could technically go to war with Burgundy again, though I don't really know why we would want to at this point, because we can't win it. Um, we have enough favors almost with England. Austria is going to... Yeah, Hungary is dead. Um, <laughs> we'll just put it that way. Apparently, Hungary is going to die. Austria is involved in that war, which isn't good. Brandenburg, I guess, survived the war they just suffered through against a lot of people. But now they're losing a war against Saxony and Silesia, so that's good. Danzig... It's under Poland, okay. And uh, I guess we're going to wait till these guys get their independence. Once they get their independence, I'll probably attack them, take their lands, and uh, move on from there. I'll go a little bit over the force limit here, just because I do need the... I'm going to need 12 troops to fight their tro 12 troops. It's the... Logic, ah, real answer. Plus, we can afford it for a little while. How bad is it? <laughs> Handful of gold. We're going to have a very well-drilled army for this war, too. Okay, they own it. Now what are they going to do? There's no... Uh, I guess they're going to move to uh, this province. Overstick. Over Steik, I have no idea. And I'm broke. Great. I can't afford to get any of these, which would give us some legitimacy. So I guess we're going to offend people. My life of offending my own peasants, apparently. Yep, there they go. They're going to siege that down. Um, honestly, if they could take Geltry itself, they'd, bre they'd break the country. I assume they're going to get their independence. I'd be very surprised if they don't. Um, which actually means I should probably get a claim on that province here. Over... Sh I want to say over sticks, but I know that's wrong. Over stikes or something, probably. Yeah, because if we can get a claim on that, we could be able to take two provinces instead of one. Our aggressive expansion is down to 18, which means we could probably take one to two provinces. And of course, both of these provinces are reasonable development. Oh, come on, rebels. You should know to move. Well, I guess technically they can't take the fort, so... I thought they had seven troops. They must be stuck here or something. Otherwise, it wouldn't make sense. Not that they can beat 12, but... Apparently, Brabant was spying on us. We could attack them. Cologne and Munster. We could maybe get Denmark to help us? I'm torn whether it would be better to expand into here or expand into here first. 
Well, that answers some of my problems. I can't attack for Bretta anymore anyhow. Oh, if I do, Burgundy would join, though. Okay, but we would get Denmark and we would get England. Not that that would help right now. Because England is notoriously incompetent in helping in European wars, I found. Very unhelpful. Which is a shame, because England should be much more useful than they are. But late game, they can field armies. But I imagine the problem is right now they don't have transport ships. They're 15, actually. Hmm. Maybe they could. Although I hesitate to try and figure that out. On the other hand, it looked like he could attack Giltry without Burgundy intervening, so I might consider that a move. Once I get a claim on this province. Okay, if I were to attack them, we could get England and Denmark in our side, and we'd be fighting Friesland, Brunswick, and Geltry. I'm going to do that. Our goal will be to take Geltry itself. We shall stop this drilling now, and hopefully that will build up. Uh, England, you've got a navy. Please use it. Oh, never mind. Okay, we didn't lose any ships, which is really what matters. And already they want peace because they're in trouble, and actually they're heavily outnumbered, which is good. Somehow we've managed to get to 20 legitimacy. I have no idea how. Okay. Where's the Danish army? Danish army is overstuck in Russia. Lovely. Okay. First things first, let's take this province. This guy's a really good siege leader, actually, so... Should be good there. I know we could get the idea. We either get the idea or get the tech, and I think, honestly, the tech is going to be more useful. Uh, Who did we lose? Oh, we lost prestige. We lost my prestige guy. That's too bad. Here come the Swedes. Here come the Norwegians. Here come the Danish. Good. And... Honestly, for right now, I'm happy with the English literally just sending a uh, siege squadron. But I guess they're going to send troops, which is as good. I wasn't expecting them to actually send a army. Okay. Now the rebels are going to attack me. I should be able to win that because we have the morale. Yeah, I know. Sorry, you guys were doing so well for a rebel group. But when I've got the opportunity to pick up three, maybe four, maybe five provinces if I play it right, unfortunately, the success of a rebel group does not enter into it. If we're lucky, we'll peace out Brunswick quickly, and that should even the war. The Swedes and the Danish are after that. Guess we need a royal marriage with Denmark again. Okay. We should be able to take that province. English are taking Friesland for us. We lost Vlanderen, but that was honestly to be expected. Hess. Oh, that's that's a shock. Hess is emperor. Well, wow, that's going to be annoying. I wanted Austria to get it. What happened? Why didn't Austria win? No idea why. I guess they must just not have good relations with them. Yeah, I guess Austria just hadn't got its diplomatic game together in time. It's too bad. That would have been an interesting uh, thing to see. 
or have as an ally because then I can keep expanding because an ally won't demand unlawful territory unless you get really out of control. Okay. You know what? I could see about vassalizing one of these guys, actually. If I were to vassal one of them, what would be the effects? Oh. <laughs> what would be the effects? Put it mildly, pain. Pain. Lots of pain. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to get all their land. Which, to be honest, would be a lot at this point in the game to pick up that much land. Um, no. We, however, I am going to see about Friesland. Dutch Vassal. Ow. Double ow. Uh, let's force them to annul their... Oh, they don't actually have any stuff I really care about. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't get that province, but Friesland has never been what you call a prime piece of real estate in Europa that everybody in the game wants to fight over, so I should be able to pick it up later. It's one province. I really want it, but 15 development's not worth the, the hassle, really. No, I actually need Geltry itself here. I need those two provinces. It's going to be right on the border of people hating me. It's too bad. Okay, cancel that. We'll do outrage countries. Maybe we can persuade somebody who's outraged not to be angry with us. Fingers crossed, I guess. Once... Brunswick is out of the war, it'll be easier. Actually, I should make peace right about now so that it'll tick over the next month before the coalition could form against us. Um, release nations cannot combine this option with seed provinces. Um, actually, we can just humiliate them, which would be nice. I think they're my rival, so that would help. Um, yeah, we'll do that. 71 power projection. Nice. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Civil war over extensions too large. Yeah. Low legitimacy. Yeah, that's that's your, your, your typical problems. Um, unrest. Yeah. And then make peace, hopefully, with everybody. You know, I'm betting Austria lost the election due to being in the war with Hungary. They just spent too much of their effort defending that. I'll spend five influence on a pope, I guess. How do I stop this? Ooh, yes. I have to help Austria. Should be in our favor. So I may not even bother send troops. That's the ish that's what I was worried about though, the coalition. Shoot. Um army. More coalition. We would get England, I think we'd get Denmark to defend us. State firearm regiments? Ugh. Kinda wanna do it, but I also don't want to risk. I also don't want to risk not being able to support my own army. Oh, darn. This could be a problem. I didn't even... T I didn't take tons of land. I mean, I took a reasonable amount, but I didn't think they'd hate me this much. At least some of these guys can't join, the ones way out here. Plus we have peace treaty with Brunswick. And the rest of these guys are re somewhat indifferent to us. Okay, Austria's winning the war, that's good. I, I suppose I should send troops. I guess I'll go, I'll try and defend the Palatinate. 
coffers are worrisomely light. Every time we're at war, obviously, um, our trade income drops like a rock. Um, who are we at war with, technically? Those people, okay. Um, I'll help siege. I think that's about all I'm going to do, though. We could almost we almost have a Dutch Golden Age, which is cool. Ah, money from Denmark. Trade matters more than heart, or whatever. If I win this war really fast, the coalition should fall apart. I just if they declare war, I'm in real trouble. That's that's the real danger if they declare war. Um, oh, that's an interesting decision. I don't think I've seen that before. Improve army or attack. I think the tech's worth more at this point. Okay, this war's going in our favor. Austria, level... F Whoa. 6262. Two, six, two. That is a good general. Go Wilhelm von Ho Hosen... Hohenberg. Does he do, do a Wilhelm yell or anything? Charge into battle? Probably. Um, not doing the best in terms of getting admin. Which is unfortunate. Got good Diplo, but that's about it. Um, let's get you to 20 since we've got money and time. Get this one to 20 as well. There we go. 20, 20, 20. <laughs> Most of our provinces, with the exception of Zealand, will be development 20 if I have my way. We'll get to 100, well, actually over 100 development. I was going to say, we're going to have 100 development in five provinces, which would be nice. Um, our fort should hold. Our fort should hold, even if we are suffering a little bit from it. Bavaria is overrun. I'm not particularly a big fan of Austria gaining land within the HRA, but if we can keep them as an ally, we should be get we should get some nice favors from them for helping in this fight. 19%. Yeah. If we can take this, go back, beat up one of these AI armies. Yeah. If we can take that, Augsburg, yeah. Yeah. If we can fight a battle on, for our side, we should get even more points. Munster hates us now. Oh, great. Oh, look, look at that difference in army strength. We have an entire morale higher. Yeah, that, 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 that was impressive, that win. 100% war score. Okay, we're done. Peace out. Austria. Oh, okay. Pieced out the smaller nation. Austria didn't actually get anything for it. And... Peace. Oof. Austria got two. Gave two land to Bohemia. Okay. We got 24 favors. And, and, Austria's no longer HRE Emperor. However, I'm going to spend those favors to get them back to 50%. <laughs> Uh, England, I spent these favors, but they still got 50%, so they should join me in the event of a 